Alex. Allie. Now we're ready. What? We're ready now, Logan. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. You're double recording you yourself. Ready? <laughs> no, I'm not recording yet. Alright, I'll get going. I don't want the questions that I have you. All right. Proof that Logan does homework. All right, go. Okay, okay. Let's start recording now. Okay, meiosis versus mitosis. So it starts out with these guys here representing the <laughs> I forgot the things. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, keep forgetting stuff. Take uh, notes, dude. Centrioles. Centrioles. <laughs> These are centrioles. <laughs> I forget stuff under stress. These are centrioles. Okay, centrioles. The centrioles. So these here are the pairs of chromosomes. And see, I, I made the eight <laughs> using Legos to represent this. And I have these black and white strips to represent crossing over in the blah 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 phase. The what phase? The, the phase. <laughs> where it happens. Okay. So the centrioles, they go, they're like, you have the spindle fibers here. And also, this nuclear envelope, it breaks down during the phase and it goes so the split can happen. So the spindle fibers, they come out, they do the thing. And then these yellow bits here, these are the centromeres showing the middle. And so during the phase, no crossing over is like, it's like sharing of genes, where it's like, okay. it all breaks apart. Ah. So we get varied stuff. It's like crossover. I'll I'll fix that later. Good. Ellie. We got crossover. over here. Yeah. No breaks. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. No breaks. Ah. Very improvised production here. <laughs> crossover, crossed over, and then these. Yeah. We got crossover. Then they, they do the thing. We got to say four. Or here, and then at this point, they would be. It would be a haploid because they got half the normal number of chromosomes, and then they split. They separate here, here, and here, and then. The second part comes around, and this is the part where it's like normal mitosis here. Okay. 
And so, this is the part where split happens, and it just like, we have one, we now have two, No. Hold up. I'll figure this out. Hold up. <laughs> so I got it's supposed to end with four. So, Just pretend you did, Logan. <laughs> okay, there we go. Here's, here's one, here's two, then split over here. We got <laughs> Chloe. Hi. 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 <laughs> we got three. Then over here we got number four. Let's say that. Boom. There we go. Start with one, we end it up with four. Boom. And so at the beginning, you would have seen a pair of chromosomes that are the same. Let's just say like like this is a chromosome it's like one two and then each of these halves is one chromosome and this is a centromere this will be a homologous pair because it's a pair of two of the same chromosomes and then do we And then this part, just one by itself, this represents a chromatid, meaning what chromosomes are made of. And then, no, haploid versus diploid, or the haploid is like half a cell, which is what these are now. Diploid would be like them here, like they have the normal amount of chromosomes. And haploid would be, well, split in half to be like, let's say, sperm or egg cells. Those are haploids. Any questions from audience? Okay, what were you describing? <laughs> I know, I went off target. What were you describing, though? What process was that? Um, that was meiosis there. That was meiosis. Okay. Yes. Okay, so we're supposed to ask, right? Why does the body need to go through two types of cell division? Okay, so the two types of cell division. So mitosis is for normal growth and repair of normal cells, like, say, uh, skin cells here. Um, thumbnail cells. And then meiosis would be used for um, the making of sex cells, sperm and eggs. Yeah. Okay. I think I get you. Mm. Okay. The difference about the phases that create these two different... Oh, what's the difference in the phases that create these two cycles? Okay. So, in meiosis, there are two processes of mitosis. You might have seen in the first bit that was crossing over in the chromosomes when I switched the, the black and white to be half and half. So it's like, that would be the, in the first part, 
of mitosis one of meiosis, and then it's about the same for the rest. It's just splitting of cells. But in meiosis, none of the daughter cells are the same as the original parent cell. Okay. How is this process responsible for the diversity in the humans and all the life that we were Uh oh. What? Okay.